guys, it's Gamer Amer here. So today, I have a really sweet pickups video for you of some really neat items that I scored at this cool antique mall and beer museum that I landed in in Haverty Grace, Maryland. So if you're ever in the area, I highly recommend it because it was very unlikely of the items that I would see at the location and the items that I would walk away with. So today, let's go ahead and see what I found. So in Haverty Grace, Maryland, they have tons of these antique malls, these antique stores, and sometimes when you go into these locations, you never know what you might find. You might stumble across some of these amazing collections that people are just putting up on display and some of the duplicate items that they may actually be selling. So I really like these antique stores as when you walk in, there's tons of different little areas in this larger location, this larger space, that are all a little bit different than one another. So if you're into bar items, you might just stumble across this entire beer museum, where of course I stumbled upon upstairs, they had tons of bar taps, beer mugs, signs, so they pretty much had any type of this memorabilia up there and it was really neat to see everything kind of showcased on these different shelves that were built for these items and just completely filled as we were walking through the attic upstairs. It was just really cool to see all of these different items from so many different eras, so many different places around the world. It's just really neat to see a collection kind of come together whether it be something that you particularly are interested in or not. So I thought that that was a really neat place that I saw. And then of course, as we're walking around the entire lower level, you just see so many different items. So I knew it was going to be good as soon as I walked in and I saw some vintage toys, some things that maybe I wouldn't really collect. And then of course I saw some little Teenage Ninja Turtle bubblegum little things that they had from back in the day, just these little caps that had some little candy and stuff inside. So I thought that those were really neat. And then as we're walking all the way around this place, seeing dolls and seeing just other random memorabilia, some war related stuff, and seeing NASCAR, just so many weird and neat and cool things kind of honed together. This back wall is what really kind of shocked me. I saw so many lunch boxes and so many thermoses. So I saw some really cool ones that I really wanted, but some of them had some wear and tear from over the years. So of course some of them were a little bit sun faded, some of them weren't complete with the thermos inside, and I just really like seeing all of those together. Whether it be goosebumps, whether it be Ghostbusters, Transformers, different cartoons from back in the day like Power Rangers, like Dinosaurs, the TV show, like Super Mario Brothers. They had quite a few of those in some different styles. So when I saw that, I definitely had to look through them and see which ones were coming home with me. So I thought it was really cool to see all of the different colorful ones. So of course, I picked this one because I know I had one just like this when I was a kid. So here we have this Barney and Baby Bop thermos, and this one's a little bit different because it doesn't take up the whole area. The thermos would actually sit right in here, and then you have these colorful images of these characters. So this one was pretty inexpensive, so I was definitely thrilled to add this one to this little Barney collection that I have, some stuff from when I was a child. So I thought that that was really neat. And then next up we actually have this one right here. I was very thrilled about this. And of course I got a deal on everything here. So the owner was definitely willing to work with me as I bought a good bit of items. So this Goosebumps lunchbox right here is just so cool as well. I thought that this one was really neat. So it says Goosebumps, it says Calling All Ghouls. So here it has all of these beautiful phone images on the side, these bright and colorful, you have the green, you have the orange, 
you have these kind of ghoul style. It says 1997 Parachute Press Incorporated. This is part of this really awesome lunchbox line. So I thought that this one was really neat to have. So I could kind of create a Goosebumps area. As I love those movies and the TV shows back in the day, I just had a blast. I used to read the books. I used to love going to the book fairs and seeing all of the different Goosebump books. Just loved how it had that little raised imprinting letters back in the day and the images with Slappy and all of the other crazy characters. So I thought that this one was a pretty cool find. And then of course I had to add some Power Rangers. So this one is pretty much the same exact style lunchbox but it has a different sticker on it. So this one says 1993 and this right here says Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. You have all of these different Power Ranger characters. Of course you have all of them posed on here on top of this earth planet right here. So I thought that this was really neat and this one was also in fairly decent shape. So I had to add this one to my collection. So now I have this growing collection of lunch boxes, but I'll never have anything quite like him. As he said that he had tons of them. He had a whole entire set. He had probably a couple thousand or something he was saying, where he just had tons of thermoses and lunch boxes that he particularly collected. And I really like seeing the whole showcase where he had all of the different shelves specifically built to fit these lunch boxes. And then this one I was so thrilled to find because I love this movie. So this one is a different style kind of set right here. Of course we have some small soldiers. So we have Chip against Archer. So this is a really awesome movie that I loved back in the day. This one even says 1998 on it, Universal City Studios, Small Soldiers. So this one is so exciting. I love this movie. I love when the figures came to life. I used to really believe when I was a little kid that maybe they did come to life. Of course you see Toy Story, then you see movies like this. You really, in your imagination, you believe that these little characters come to life and they just kind of go around and talk to one another in battle. So I just love this movie. It was such a classic, such a fun one to see. I love the design of the characters. I just loved everything about this, kind of the battle style and everything else. Love how it's just wacky and crazy too. They take over the Barbies. It was just really a fun time. Anytime that I see this movie, it definitely relived my childhood. So I had to add this one to my collection as well. And then they did have just a random location that had a couple video games. Of course I saw some Sega Dreamcast ones and they were like burned video games from back in the day. Whereas if you knew the Dreamcast was very easy to pirate and you could go ahead and just burn any type of game and play it on the system. Of course I didn't do that. I didn't have one until later in life. So of course trying to go for a full set of games is a little bit more expensive nowadays and definitely had the options back in the day to make it very easy for a person. And then this game right here, I decided to add it. Sabrina, we have Sabrina the Animated Series Spooked. So this is a little Game Boy Color game and this one was only a couple dollars. So this was definitely shocking as apparently this game has went up just a little bit more than just a few dollars. So this one, I think they even threw in just because I bought all of this stuff here. So this was really cool to see that they even had video games. They had tons of carded figures. They had tons of Star Wars stuff. They just had so much cool stuff as I was walking around. It's really neat to see all of the different items that they have, whether it be sports memorabilia, sports figures, collectible figures, Star Wars stuff, a whole section of board games. Just so much stuff in and out there. And then even an entire Pez collection. I thought that that was really cool. So just like the lunch boxes, he also collects Pez. And he said that he also has a couple thousand of the Pez characters from back in the day all the way up until now. So I thought that that was really cool to see. I even saw some Mario ones. I saw some Sonic ones. Just various different characters throughout the time. I just saw some really cool video game characters, 
cartoons, just all over the place. I thought that they were really neat. Some even box sets that I saw. So I thought that those were really neat. And once again, it's really cool to see different collections and how people collect and how they display these items. So I always enjoy going into a location like that. Then of course I saw these on the way out and I had to buy all of them. So these I was particularly interested in because I am trying to grow my Power Ranger collection and I was able to get each of these sealed boxes for just an amazing score. Now they do have a little bit of dust on them and of course they might be a little bit sun faded but didn't want that to discourage me because these are definitely pretty cool. So of course we have all of these different figures. I do have to dust them. So these are all a part of the Deluxe Evil Space Aliens. So it says, collect all the Deluxe Evil Space Aliens and the Karate Action Power Rangers. So this is really cool. We have this Rhino Blaster character. And I just love this because on these boxes here, it tells you of the story of these evil space aliens. And then it tells you all of the different characters that you could collect, the different toy lines as well, as they were very good at promoting other toy lines. So this one right here, we also have this character. So this one is really sweet as well. I believe this one is actually on the back as a part of these evil space aliens. They are very dusty, so I do need to kind of take care of that sooner rather than later. But we have this character, and a lot of these I remember having back then, but I definitely did not save boxes when I was a kid. And then we have this guy. So these are just so cool. I'll definitely have to zoom in and then hopefully try and get these cleaned up and put them on the shelf. I just love that it comes with the weapons, is when I see these characters now in toy stores, I do see that the boxes are open, all of the little zip ties that are in there holding all of the weapons and stuff are missing, usually it's just the character, usually the weapons aren't included, and of course this one is also one of the ones that's on the back here. And then, because I do have a couple of these already, I wasn't able to get every single one that they had as I already owned them. And then, of course, this character. This is another one that I had to add. So this one was pretty cool, as I really like this particular weapon that's included. Some of these I do remember from back in the day. Some of these, of course, as I'm watching some of the different TV shows over again, I'm noticing that... A lot of these I do kind of remember. And then we have this character. So of course we have some goo fish. This one is a pretty interesting style one as well. And once again the back is pretty much the same. I think that all of these are around the same exact time. So they should say somewhere on here 1994. And then even this character right here. Of course we had to get Finster. So this is another cool one. This one has a different box design than these other ones here. So this one says Evil Space Aliens number 19 Finster. And it tells you a little bit about him. The other ones don't have it on here. But this one has a different back that says Evil Space Aliens. Talks about the story of these different Power Ranger characters. About the power gun, the sword, the power morpher. So this one is definitely pretty cool as well. Is this one, I definitely remember this character. So kind of as I was walking around, I just was blown away by the things that I saw in this antique mall. The prices were pretty decent. They were definitely willing to make some sort of deal as well. And just seeing some really awesome items, just from different toy lines, different cartoons, different characters, whether it be these Pez items that I saw, or even all of these lunch boxes. Then of course walking out and seeing all of these Power Ranger items just displayed up on the top. I knew that I had to score some of these and add them into my collection. And then of course some video games. So let me know what you guys think about this antique mall. Is this a place that you would definitely want to dig around and try and find some cool stuff? All of those really cool figures as well like the Star Wars stuff and some DC and Marvel. Those were pretty cool to see and I'd definitely be interested in seeing which lunch boxes he replaces in the spots of these ones that I took and see what other ones he may have 
he said that he has tons of them so really neat to see everything kind of come together and then even the beer museum upstairs I thought that that was pretty shocking so I'll definitely leave everything all of the information below in the description if you're ever in the area and you'd like to check out this place of course I have to go back and see more of the antique malls the antique stores the thrift stores that they have in the area as it's just kind of jam-packed and they have so much cool stuff so who knows what else would be uncovered or waiting to find so of course let me know in the comments below what you guys think did you like all this power ranger stuff all of these lunch boxes did you like the small soldiers one even this goosebumps one probably my favorite and then even the power rangers barney and then all of these little video games as well so of course let me know in the comments below and thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more